Marcus Aurelius is one of the most famous and well-known Stoic philosophers of all time. He was a Roman emperor from 161 to 180 AD, and he was the last ruler from a line later known as the Five Good Emperors. He was in one of the highest positions of power in the world at the time, and would have access to the realization of all his temptations and desires should he wish for them. But instead, he dedicated his life to fairness and justice, during his reign, Aurelius composed a collection of personal writings known as the Meditations, which have since become a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. In these writings, he imparted wisdom on self-improvement, with a predominant emphasis on adopting a cosmic perspective and scrutinizing one's judgments of oneself and others. As a leader of a powerful empire that experienced multiple wars during his rule, Aurelius used his own Stoic philosophy to let go of stress and worries and to be the very best and reliable leader he could be. Stoicism is an ancient and incredibly famous philosophy that, aside from a theory, is also a truly inspiring way of thinking and living. The Stoics strongly believed that doing the right thing was the key to individual happiness and that in order to do the right thing, sound judgment and clear rational thinking was necessary. In this video, we will explore how you can enhance your ability to think clearly by delving into five essential lessons derived from the teachings of Marcus Aurelius. 1. Train your perception. Marcus Aurelius says, choose not to be harmed and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed and you haven't been harmed. One of the profound teachings of Stoicism is the cultivation of control over your perception. Humans are habitually inclined to judge everything they encounter. Events, individuals, sights, assigning value judgments such as good, bad, boring, fun, beautiful or ugly. If you label a party you went to as boring, that is all it will be. That one boring part of your week. We often let our initial judgments of things be influenced by our emotions, which means that they are most likely not entirely rational. Furthermore, our tendency to judge every moment of our lives goes hand in hand with a tendency to talk in metaphors and hyperboles that make things seem worse. If you get dumped by your partner, you might say your ex broke your heart instead of the fundamental fact that they no longer feel for you the way they used to, the way they used to. This way of speaking, or rather, this way of thinking, shapes how you feel. It is not the actual event that makes you feel bad, but rather the way you unconsciously choose to think about it. Our initial judgments of situations are often unduly influenced by our emotions, making them inherently irrational. Additionally, our proclivity to render judgments goes hand in hand with a penchant for using metaphors and hyperboles that amplify negativity. When your partner ends a relationship, you may exclaim that they broke your heart instead of acknowledging that their feelings for you have changed. It is important to recognize that it is not the event itself, but your unconscious choice in how to perceive it that generates emotional distress. Stoicism encourages individuals to scrutinize their judgments and, through a more optimistic and reasoned lens, look beyond their initial instincts and emotions. You can try to reframe that boring party in your mind as an event where you got to see a new place and meet some new people. Okay, afterwards you might note that you didn't really resonate with anyone, but you didn't go in with the expectation of negativity. As such, practicing not to judge everything based on your first instinct and emotion is the very best way to start training your perception on life. When forming an opinion, ask yourself, is this rational? What is the basis of my judgment? Can I interpret this in a more positive way? Marcus Aurelius emphasized that something becomes a harm only when perceived as such, granting you control over how profoundly certain situations affect you. Stoicism also advises viewing every negative occurrence as an opportunity or source of good. For example, when a new colleague is a slow learner and their mistakes impact the company's profits, it may evoke frustration. However, this challenge can serve as an opportunity for personal growth, patience cultivation, improved teaching abilities, 
and learning how to integrate newcomers into the company during stressful time. Embracing such situations with a stoic perspective transforms impediments into pathways, as Marcus Aurelius famously noted. In summary, refrain from exaggerated judgments of life's occurrences, strive to see things objectively, and you may discover that life is simpler and clearer than you previously believed. 2. Master Your Emotion Marcus Aurelius advises us to stop letting your emotions override what your mind tells you. Stop being hypocritical, self-centered, irritable. Acting impulsively based on emotions is often in direct contrast to making rational decisions. Nothing clouds our judgment more than unchecked emotions. Therefore, to maintain clear thinking, it is crucial to master the skill of emotional control. According to Marcus Aurelius, anger in particular tends to do more harm than good. It's important to note that controlling emotions does not equate to suppressing them. When intense anger arises, especially due to betrayal, denying, or concealing it, won't make it disappear. Instead, Stoicism suggests the redirection of emotions. When confronted with anger, consider the consequences of your actions. While yelling at the person who hurt you may be tempting, ask yourself if it will alleviate your pain or improve the situation. Will it benefit the person who betrayed you? In essence, assess the helpfulness of your impulses. If your initial response proves unhelpful, seek constructive ways to express your emotions. This could involve calmly discussing your feelings with the person who hurt you, attempting to understand their perspective, or finding therapeutic outlets such as journaling, physical exercise, or engaging in distractions like video games. Similarly, when facing anxiety or fear, don't attempt to suppress these emotions. Redirect them towards productive ends. For instance, if you're anxious about asking your boss for a raise, use this fear as motivation. Instead of allowing fear to hinder your actions, use it to prompt thorough preparation, contemplate potential challenges, and formulate plans for various scenarios. Embrace fear as a positive motivator to challenge yourself and grow to prove to yourself that you can, to make the step, not despite your fear, but partly because of it. And in that scenario, you can be aware of the anxiety throughout and think, how awesome that I'm trying this anyway. So ultimately, by mastering the art of redirecting strong emotions, you can maintain a calm demeanor that doesn't compromise your ability to think rationally and make wise decisions. Controlling your emotions is the key to achieving a more tranquil state of mind, or in other words, a calmer mind. 3. Exercise the dichotomy of control Marcus Aurelius, in his wisdom, emphasizes that our power resides in our minds, not in external events. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This concept underpins the dichotomy of control, which distinguishes between what we can influence and what remains beyond our grasp. Factors like the weather, traffic, and others' opinions are examples of elements beyond our control. For example, the weather traffic issues, or what people think about you, are all outside of your control. But how you dress, at what time you leave, and the kind of people you surround yourself with, that you can control. So. Whenever you face a situation that makes you feel a certain way, ask yourself, what can I control? Whatever you can control is a reason to act. However, we do possess authority over our choices, actions, and the company we keep. When confronted with situations that trigger emotional responses, it's essential to ask ourselves, what can I actually influence? This self-awareness should serve as a source of motivation to act upon the aspects we can control Embracing this dichotomy leads to the stoic principle of amour fati, which translates to a love for fate by embracing life unconditionally. Regardless of its circumstances, we cultivate a deep affection for life itself. Consider the scenario of facing rejection for a coveted job. Initially, it may seem like an insurmountable setback. However, this perception can be misleading. Take the time to investigate the reasons behind the rejection. If it arises from personal shortcomings, 
take charge of improving those areas and prepare for future opportunity. If external factors like nepotism or personality conflicts played a role, acknowledge that the opportunity may never have truly existed. Adopting a stoic mindset entails disconnecting from fixed outcomes and external markers of success. Instead, gauge your success by your contentment with the effort and dedication you invested. Pursue your goals diligently, but accept the prospect of failure as a possibility. By concentrating solely on what you can control and accepting external circumstances as they are, you can maintain inner tranquility, regardless of the outcomes that unfold. 4. Keep virtues in mind. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, delve deep within yourself, for there exists an ever-ready wellspring of goodness, waiting to flow forth if you persist in your quest. Virtue, defined as excellence of character, entails behaving morally upright. Morally sound conduct not only benefits oneself and those in one's immediate vicinity, but also serves the greater good. The Stoics adhered to the belief in an interconnected universe, asserting that everything and everyone are linked in some way. Hence, according to Stoicism, what benefits the greater good ultimately benefits the individual as well. This is why Stoics were staunch advocates of the idea that the most rational individuals were those who dedicated themselves to the greater good, or in simpler terms, acted virtuously. Failure to act virtuously, as per the Stoics, stems from ignorance. When life unexpectedly steers you in a new direction, virtues can serve as your guiding light, directing you towards the right course of action and providing a sense of stability. Consequently, the most virtuous individuals tend to be the calmest and most composed. To embody virtue, one must bear in mind the four fundamental virtues of Stoicism, wisdom, justice, temperance, and courage. Wisdom, in the Stoic perspective, involves the ability to discern what is good, bad, neutral, or somewhere in between. Rather than succumbing to emotional impulses, one must engage in clear, logical thinking to determine the morally upright path when faced with challenging decisions. Justice, an outgrowth of wisdom, entails acting in a manner that is both morally right and fair, not only to others, but also to oneself. Stoics viewed it as a duty to uphold justice toward oneself, fellow human beings, and society as a whole. Courage, the third virtue, is the capacity to take action despite one's fear. It involves doing what is necessary or beneficial even in the absence of certainty about the outcome. Courage does not eliminate fear, desire or anxiety. Rather, it involves making decisions and taking steps despite these emotional challenges. Finally, temperance, also known as moderation, involves maintaining a middle ground between extremes, avoiding both excess and deficiency. In practice, temperance often manifests as self-restraint, self-control, or discipline. It is instrumental in safeguarding long-term well-being over short-term gratification. The Stoics categorized all things and actions in the world as either good, evil, or indifferent. Their guiding principle was to pursue the good, avoid the evil, and select the indifference as one sees fit. Engaging in virtuous behavior aligns with the pursuit of good while acting contrary to these virtues leads to the creation of evil. Living in accordance with these straightforward principles not only shapes an individual into a better person, but also cultivates inner tranquility. By following the path of virtue, one is perpetually guided by what is good and acts in harmony with reason, according to Stoic philosophy. Such conduct fosters a calm and composed mind 5. Always consider the big picture. Marcus Aurelius imparts how beautifully Plato put it, whenever you want to talk about people, it's best to take a bird's eye view and see everything all at once. This concept of taking a broad perspective is a profoundly significant aspect of achieving mental clarity. As we navigate through life, we often find ourselves in the midst of various situations and challenges. In the heat of the moment, every problem can appear monumental. For instance, when you're caught in a small crowd, 
it might seem as if the entire city is swamped with people. However, merely taking a few steps back can reveal a completely different reality. In general, when we step back and examine the entirety of the world and our lives, we come to realize how comparatively small our experiences are and how modest our existence is in the grand scheme of things. It becomes evident that there is a vast world beyond our subjective encounters. Many individuals forget that their own experiences and opinions should not be the sole considerations, even for themselves. For example, someone who has had a negative experience with dogs may struggle to comprehend that dogs can be wonderful and helpful pets for others unless they consciously acknowledge the possibility of different experiences. Periodically, we all need to take a step back and ask ourselves, what are we overlooking or failing to see? Doing so can be immensely beneficial in numerous ways. Consider a scenario where you must decide between staying in your current job or pursuing a newly available position elsewhere. This decision may seem challenging, especially if you're uncertain whether either option will bring you satisfaction. You might feel content with your current job, but desire the higher pay associated with the promotion. This can leave you feeling stuck. However, there may be numerous other alternatives in life that you haven't even considered. Have you explored the possibility of entering a completely different field or engaging in a side hustle to supplement your income alongside your current job? Perhaps immersing yourself in a hobby to shift your focus away from less enjoyable aspects of your work? There's a high probability that there are countless options in life of which you are unaware. Looking at the bigger picture, rather than fixating solely on what's directly in front of you, can be immensely helpful when making decisions. It not only aids in determining what truly matters, but also in forming well-informed opinion. To make an accurate judgment, you need to be aware of all available options or all facets of a given situation. Furthermore, Taking a step back allows you to distance yourself from your own perspectives and biases. By temporarily setting aside your desires, you may gain fresh insights into the people around you and your responsibilities to them. In the heat of the moment, certain actions may seem inconsequential, like littering, for example. Yet, when you step back and contemplate the world as a whole and the potential consequences, if everyone were to act similarly, you realize the insignificance of your desire to litter compared to the well-being of the planet. Stoics believed that everything in the world is interconnected and the general well-being of the world ultimately enhances your personal well-being. Therefore, taking a step back and considering the world as a whole, rather than just your own life, holds tremendous significance. When confronted with choices, challenges, problems, or changes in life, you can ask yourself some fundamental questions. This reflection can occur in the moment or later on, perhaps during a walk or while journaling, a practice that Marcus Aurelius particularly favored. The most common questions to pose are, what could be the long-term consequences of my choices or actions? How might someone else's perspective differ from mine? Do I know someone in a similar situation or with similar goals who could offer guidance? Does my choice or action impact my well-being? Does it affect the well-being of those around me? Have I considered all available options? Taking the time to examine all facets of the world helps you gain clarity on your actions, thoughts, life and decisions. Moreover, it enables you to contribute positively to the world. By considering the bigger picture, you always have an overarching view that frees you from unnecessary constraints, biases or doubts. Once you achieve that level, you can see lots of benefits for your life. Rational decision making, clear thinking, allows individuals to make rational decisions based on reason and logic rather than being swayed by impulsive emotions or external pressure. It enables them to assess situations objectively and choose the most appropriate course of action. Emotional resilience. Clarity of thought helps individuals better manage their emotions. They can acknowledge their feelings without being controlled by them, leading to greater emotional resilience 
and the ability to cope with challenges more effectively. Reduced anxiety and stress. A clear mind is less prone to anxiety and stress. By focusing on what is within their control and accepting what is not, individuals can minimize unnecessary worry and anxiety about the future. Improved problem solving, clear thinking enables individuals to approach problems and challenges with a calm and analytical mindset. They can break down complex issues into manageable parts and devise effective solutions. Enhanced self-awareness, clear thinking allows individuals to better understand themselves, their values and their goals. This self-awareness helps them make choices that align with their true priorities and values. Better relationships. By maintaining a clear and rational perspective, individuals can foster healthier and more harmonious relationships. They are less likely to react impulsively in conflicts and can communicate more effectively. Greater resilience in adversity. Clear thinking helps individuals develop resilience in the face of adversity. They can maintain their composure and adapt to challenging situations, which ultimately leads to personal growth and development. Improved focus and productivity. Clarity of thought enhances concentration and focus. This in turn leads to increased productivity and the ability to complete tasks efficiently. Enhanced sense of purpose. Clear thinking allows individuals to clarify their values and purpose in life. It helps them set meaningful goals and stay committed to their chosen path. Inner peace and tranquility. Perhaps one of the most significant benefits, according to Stoic philosophy, clear thinking leads to inner peace and tranquility. By accepting the natural order of the world and focusing on what they can control, individuals can experience a profound sense of calm and contentment. In essence, Marcus Aurelius believed that clear thinking was essential for leading a virtuous and fulfilling life. It empowers individuals to live in accordance with reason, make ethical choices and find tranquility.